Not the typical sounds of an after-school project, but what the students at Blessed Trinity Catholic High School did this past year wasn't your normal extracurricular activity. It actually started as an assignment for the, uh, the intro to engineering class, and they had the task, the assignment, to design an electrical circuit for a tiny home. So one of the students that was in that intro to engineering class and was also a member of the robotics team said, hey, why don't we just build a tiny home? It was really kind of an interesting thought. We're like, well, maybe we could. After the plans were set and other details worked out, construction began in November 2018. We started this project thinking, oh, we're going to have this thing done in six months. You know, it's, it's not a large structure. It's a couple of walls. There's one interior wall, four exterior walls, and a roof. How hard can it be, right? Well, it turns out it was actually pretty difficult. Logistically, it's, it's been a challenge, but we're learning. And I look at that the same way I teach and the same way my students learn is that everything's a learning experience. Everything's a learning process. And we learn as we've gone, so we experience growing pains, but we know that the next time we do something like this, it'll be much more efficient and even better. While the adults who supervised the build learned new things and overcame obstacles, the students enjoyed learning new skills as well. They learned a ton of things about using all these different tools, different techniques that I think now that I've been more comfortable like repairing things at home, at my home, and all the little tiny details that you wouldn't think of that really need to be there and done, done correctly. With help from groups like Catholic Construction and St. Vincent de Paul to get the project moving, the school hosted build days throughout an entire year and saw commitment unlike anything else. I don't know of any other event in Blessed Trinity uh, Catholic High School's history that kind of brought together all these different elements from students, from faculty, from staff, um, and just to see the repeating students that would come out time after time, even beyond their service hour requirements, was so rewarding. It, it really lent uh, you know, an air of authenticity to their commitment to service. Well, it's really cool that it's become such a, like, a school effort, you know, not just the robotics team individually, but the entire school is getting involved and it's you know, a great way to spread our faith. So it's just a great way to do some outreach and help someone out. Helping someone was at the center of this project with the completed house being donated to the Cherokee County Homeless Veterans Program, a cause that was always on the mind of those working on the home. Just knowing that we're doing this for someone else, and it's like, it's a full year long project, so we're not only using it as a winter course, this is a year long type thing, and we're doing this for like a person that just feels good. It's a conversation piece, right? And it gets us talking about our faith. You know, it gets us talking about the things that we're doing at the school that are unique to the school that no other school is doing. Knowing that, you know, through all of this stuff that I'm learning and that we're all learning, you know, we're actually going to be helping someone out and you know, giving them a home to live in, you know, through learning all these new things. What started as just an idea and began with an empty trailer is now a fully operational home being lived in. A tough but fulfilling adventure for everyone involved. We're a Catholic school, so it, that's part of our values. So it's a very rewarding and nice. There's been moments of frustration, but every time I come by and I get to walk by and look at this thing, and I'm just in awe at what our students have accomplished. It's just, it's fun to, to do, um, but it's also fun to see them do. You know, so it's definitely very rewarding. So I don't know what the future holds for Tiny Homes at Blessed Trinity, but the way I like to put it, after doing this one and seeing what we were able to accomplish, I don't see how we couldn't do another one. We would love to see our project become a template for other archdiocesan schools and then hopefully grow it from there.